Hello everyone, Mr. Bannon here, showing you how to create maps or how to create clustering using Google Docs. Now, maps and clustering can be very useful to helping plan out your essay, sometimes better than outlines, and here's why. Some people are better visually. They can better organize their thoughts if they can see it visually in front of them, if they can figure out what the main idea is and figure out everything that branches off of it. I'm going to show you how to do that and here's what you do to create your map the first thing you need to do is you need to go to click insert then you go down to drawing and click that now once there you could draw as many shapes as you want you want to start in the center with your main idea we'll say the main idea for this just for the sake of being quick mr bannon is funny now we hit, once we've done that, we hit click off of that. We're going to need more shapes though, because when you've brainstormed all your information, you can't just put down one thing in a map and be done with it. No, you have to have supporting details stemming off of that. So, he tells puns. That's a reason. And let's see. He tells puns. He tells jokes. All right, that's another reason. Now, after that, we're going to need some lines leading from one to the other from the center, from our main idea, out to the reasons. Now, whoopsies. Now, once you have your reasons, you're going to need supporting details to back those up. You're going to need examples. So, I can't think of a good example of my, of my awesome puns just because there are so many. So, I'm just going to write example one. And then, after that, I'll make another shape. And we'll call it... Eh, let's just say his puns are stupid. Pun Alright, now. You want to, again, make sure those are all connected to the correct place. And make sure you are, no, oh, there we go, that's better. Make sure they're all going the right direction from one, from your reasons to the examples to back up those reasons. All right, now this is a good way to organize your information visually. Now, do not hit save and close until you are finished all, all of your mapping because if you do that you're not going to be able to move it around the page at all but if you find out that you did that by accident you can always click right there like i just did and you can always go back into it so let me show you again oops oh no i'm not really finished i want to add something else so all you do is just click again and let's see what's another good example of a pun his puns are wonderful we draw our arrow, and we're going to draw our shape. <laughs> Alright, now, if you find that your writing is too big, what you do is you just highlight it, click on More, go to Fonts, and then shrink the font. You're going to need to make a map of your ideas later. And this video hopefully showed you how to do that. So, if you are unsure, message me. Or just watch the video again and practice, 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 practice. Once you are sure you are finished creating your map, you hit save and close. This is Mr. Bannon, signing off.